Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As a recording of this, it is Monday, January 16th, 2023. This traffic circle, this little shopping center, restaurant, foray, esplanade of restaurants and shopping establishments, outside celebration, I don't know the correct word. It's a shopping center. I have never done, as far as I can recall, a food review of a Five Guys. I've done Whataburger, I've done In-N-Out, I think I've done Whataburger, but I've never done Five Guys. That is going to change today. One time, sometimes when I'll do In-N-Out food, people will say, oh no, you gotta try Five Guys. You gotta try Five Guys today. I've tried Five Guys. I've had Five Guys before, years ago. As far as I can recall, never, never on camera though. I'm inviting you to join me for some Five Guys. I'll probably get a burger, I'll probably get some fries, I might get a hot dog. Shall you? I'm in the mood for a burger. I like hamburgers. I like a good variety. So I'm going in to Five Guys. One thing I do remember about Five Guys is the fries. Really good. They give you a lot of fries, from what I can remember. It should be called Fry Guys, but I think that might be, I think, I think McDonald's might have the, might, might own that, might, might own that fries. All right, guys, it's time for five. It's time for five, guys. Ooh, voted the best burger. Take a look at this. This says here that it's voted the best burger by Washington Magazine readers. Readers' favorite pick, voted best bargain. Also, well, actually quite a few different things here. Five Guys Burgers, fresh, juicy, and loaded. Great burgers keep Five Guys famous. This burger is exquisite. And they have a little outdoor seating area out here as well. Doesn't look too busy. At least the one here in Celebration isn't too busy. Open seven days a week, 11 to 11. All right, I'm going in. Oh, I can see the peanuts right down there. Evidently when you walk in, you get you can get peanuts here. They have a the little scooper and they have a the little cardboard thing and they come out of these little boxes. This sign says everything is made to order. And there's even another sign on the window that in Orlando says it is Orlando's best burger, which is pretty, that, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a good sell there too. And while I'm waiting for my food, I was snacking down on some peanuts over here while they were preparing my food behind the counter. So I am excited to eat some little, little Five Guys. Food has been prepared. I have my cup right here nestled between my arm and my body while I hold this bag. You can already see the delicious grease that is starting to formulate here on said bag, well, maybe you can't see it because of the sun, but we'll go find a place to eat this. They had the music on outside and inside, so I'm gonna go find a nice quiet spot, take my car somewhere, have a little, little meal time with Five Guys. A celebration Five Guys. I've never eaten at this place, but I've never eaten at this one before. Last time I had Five Guys was probably a couple years ago. I've never been at this, this particular establishment though. Let's see if I can find a picnic table or something appropriate around here that I can sit down at, eat this delicious meal. Surprisingly, finding a picnic table in celebration is easier said than done. There's a lot of benches. There are some tables near the lakefront, but pretty busy over there. But I think I found a couple kind of secluded ones by the tennis courts. I could eat in my car. I feel like I just want to eat outside. This is giving me vibes back when I lived in Anaheim. I think it was late 2020, I did a whole food series. I think I did like 40 or 50 days in a row of food reviews where I would go and get takeout and then find a picnic table somewhere and I would eat. So that's what kind of what I'm doing here. All right, five guys time. This state's burger restaurant of the year, 2017, 2018, you get a generous heap of hot Properly salted, natural cups, natural cut spuds. Fries are a work of art. OMG, these burgers are insane. The Willy Wonka of the burger craft. I like that. I did not go with the huge bag of fries. They give you this little cup. However, I use the word little cup lightly because there are also some fries, a screw, a, a screw a strewn down in the bottom of this bag. Now one of these is the hot dog and one of these 
of the burger. You see the grease is now even permeating through the bag even more. I believe that's probably gonna be the hot dog based on the shape of that. And that's probably gonna be the burger. Two patties and cheese. And there's the extra fries. All right, I am on a very creaky side of this because I got the sun here so you can kind of see. Let's try to get everything in frame here. With the burger and the hot dog. That's just even gonna be possible. Oh my gosh, there's a piece of, is this a piece of ham or a piece of bacon on this? They asked what I wanted on it. I said everything. I did not realize everything meant. All right, hold on. Look at this, this has everything. When I asked for everything, Everything but the kitchen sink is on this bad boy. How am I even gonna get all this in this? I might have got too much food. Probably, yeah, let's face it, I got too much food. Let's do. I'm trying to make this work. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to make this work here. You got the burger, you got the five guys, you got the dog, get the dog in here. Everything but the kitchen sink on that bad boy. Five guys time. There it is. No Photoshop needed. No Photoshop here, folks. <laughs> maybe a surprise, maybe an over-exaggerated surprise reaction though. You can get me on that, but no Photoshop. All right, I'm going in. Okay, as stated, I'm on the end of this bench because I'm in the shade in order to get some proper lighting. I had to sit over here on the corner. It's like I'm surfing on this thing. Okay, I went with the burger. Whoop, whoop. Losing the napkins. Losing napkins here. I went with the burger and they asked, what do you want on it? I said, everything. That does not include bacon, but it does include, oh my gosh. Look at this. It's got mushrooms. It's got onions. It has cheese, it has pickles, looks like it has lettuce, mayo. I like the onions on there. I don't like a lot of onions, but I like some onions to properly, properly give it some flavor. That's pretty dang good. Mm. That's a good burger. I think it's a pulp, I think that's Pulp Fiction. Samuel Jackson. Something about a tasty burger. Oh, that's good. It's not a big Kahuna burger. It's a Five Guy Burger. Wow, that's good. I can't really compare it. I don't even know if I'd want to compare it to In-N-Out. It's a totally different tasting burger. It's like, I don't say apples and oranges because they're both hamburgers, but... Whew. I'm not going to be eating all this. I think I'm going to eat half my hamburger and half of the, the hot dog. I probably should have just got one, but I think just reviewing one without reviewing the other wouldn't be coherent. Yeah, you don't have the, the secret sauce that In-N-Out has. Whataburger has its own flavor. This has its own distinct flavor. If you did a taste test, a blindfolded taste test, with all three of those chains, which I think are probably the three most popular burger ones that people always want you to do reviews of, In-N-Out's my number one. This is pretty good. Let's call this the Florida In-N-Out. Except I think this is nationwide. So that wouldn't that wouldn't apply. It's a dang good burger. Definitely in the upper percentile of hamburger places as far as chain. This could be called fast food. No, I wouldn't call this fast food. It took a little while for them to make it. They prepared it, they prepared it fresh. So that would not be classified as fast food. Quick service. And getting everything on it was a good call. No jalapenos though, so I guess not. Maybe their interpretation of everything 
is going to be, you can also order a hamburger with everything. If you want cheese on it, you have to order the cheeseburger with everything. Tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, onions, mayo, mustard, mushrooms. Hmm. There's a lot of mayo on this. I'm noticing there's like a lot of mayo. I think it's mayo. I don't think it's Miracle Whip. It does have like a sweet kind of a sweet taste to it. So maybe it is Miracle Whip. All right, I completely stand corrected. Even though I'm sitting, I stand corrected. This is the hot dog. This very unique sliced piece here is the hot dog itself. Interesting. I thought maybe they added something on the hot dog, like bacon. But you can see this also has the onions, mustard, the exact same thing the burger had on it. This has on it. When they say everything, this is what you get. Tomatoes, onions, pickles, sliced onions. This interesting hot dog patty style. And I guess I gotta try the fries too. I'm going on the fries. Said I was gonna eat half of the sandwich. I ate like four-fifths of it. I ate more than I thought I was going to. It was good. So this is the dog itself. This is the hot dog. Now as far as burger goes, if there was a Five Guys and an In-N-Out and a Whataburger on the same corner, I don't know if that's even a, a, I don't know if that's even a thing. If there was, I'd probably go to In-N-Out. In-N-Out's my number one. A lot of people are going to disagree with me on that. I love In-N-Out. Next time I go to Southern California, I'll probably go into In-N-Out. I think In-N-Out might be branching out of the West Coast. I heard something about that too. However, if I wanted a hot dog, In-N-Out does not have them. I'm going in on this. Mmm. I think there might be ketchup on this. I don't like ketchup on my hot dogs. Probably should have told me everything but the ketchup. Okay, the hot dog itself it's really good. The flavor's good. It's like a grilled dog. They cut the dog in half, they lay it flat, and they cook it that way. It's got good flavor. leaf blower over there and I went with the Dr. Pepper to drink they had the Coca-Cola freestyle machines so I got Dr. Pepper this is not a healthy meal the calorie count on this probably far exceeds what you should have for the whole day most likely will not be eating a late dinner this will probably be it but even that even one meal a day eating this not healthy I am currently not on any sort of diet plan. One of my New Year's resolutions was to not make promises to myself and to the world. But this is probably not good. If you were eating this every day, there would be a downfall in your health, for sure. But every once in a while, it's okay. It's also probably not meant to get all of this. Probably should have just got this and the fries, or the burger and the fries. Or burgers instead of a fry or instead of a soda got water but I went all in I did not do however what some have done eating everything on a menu which that right there he would have a heart palpitation and probably end up in the, in the hospital That's pretty good. Now I know a hot dog is, is bologna, same thing, more or less. But this has a, a more of a bologna taste than a hot dog taste because of the way it's prepared. Interesting how that works. I would say Five Guys version of a hot dog tastes more like a glorified bologna sandwich, a tasty bologna sandwich 
something like a Chicago dog would or a hot dog, like a Vienna dog or something like Casey's Corner, Magic Kingdom, stuff like that. Or a dog at a ball game. This has a more glorified bologna taste. I don't know if Five Guys, they could put that on the back of their cup there. Put it right there, inscribed on their Adam the Woo, quote, glorified bologna taste, which isn't a bad thing. I would eat this again. But I almost don't feel like I'm eating a hot dog when I'm eating this. Probably because I got everything else on it as well. I'm making a mess and I think I'm done. And now perusing over the Five Guys menu on their site. Hot dogs, cheese dog, bacon dogs. The hot dog I just ate was 520 calories. That's not including everything else that was on that. All beef hot dog split and grilled lengthwise for a caramelized exterior with any of your favorite toppings. How about all my favorite toppings? I asked for all. You get the cheese dog, 590 calories, bacon dog, 600 calories, the bacon cheese dog, 670 calories. Let's see what they have for the burgers. Fries are really good. Okay, these fries, better than in and out fries by a long, by a long way. The only thing I like about in and out fries better than these, I go full on animal style. I like them drenched and all the other you know, Thousand Island dressing, the cheese, the onions. But as far as fry versus fry, five guys for the win on that one. Burgers. Hamburger, 840 calories. Cheeseburger, 980 calories. Plus the toppings, I just ate 1,000 calories on that cheeseburger. Oh, a cool 1,050 grams of sodium, milligrams of sodium. Yeah. There's also a bacon burger, a bacon cheeseburger. This is neat. They have a little hamburger. A little hamburger. I have a little mule. I have a little mule. What was that from? Romancing the Jewel of the Nile. A little cheeseburger, a little bacon cheeseburger. A little bacon burger without cheese. So they have quite a few menu items. They have a full menu thing up on their site. They have drinks, fries, they have milkshakes. Oh, I should have got a milkshake. Because In-N-Out has amazing milkshakes. I don't have Five Guys milk. That'd be another, another time. They also have sandwiches. They have a veggie sandwich. A cheese veggie sandwich. Grilled cheese. And they have a BLT. The fries are good, but they're getting cold. So I'm going to say, for me personally, now, here's something interesting. What if there was an In-N-Out and a Five Guys side-by-side? -side? I'm talking about In-N-Out a lot in a Five Guys review, which they probably might be frowned upon. Five Guys fries, In-N-Out double-double. That needs to happen. These are really salty. I'm full. I'm gonna have like two more fries and then the rest of them. Throw these in my mouth. And these. I am full. All done. Jim Barney. You know what that sound means in Russian, Vern? Empty. Now, I could have taken a little bit of leftovers. I'd probably say maybe three quarters of everything. Four fifths of everything. I could have gave the leftovers to the gator, but you should never feed an alligator in the wild. They get acclimated. I learned this from Savannah at Gatorland. She taught me never feed alligators in the wild. The reason for that is they get acclimated to being fed and they get a little close to the shore. You know, pets could be at risk. Humans could be at risk. You, just never, you want to let alligators stay in their natural elements in the wild when they are, you know, not being, not being helped out, those that are injured at gator parks and things like that.
And this is a gator I don't normally see, because this is a distance from Lake Reinhardt, unless, well, you know what? I stand corrected. I'm, st I'm standing corrected a lot today. This might be cool, the gator. Named over in Lake Reinhardt because this little pathway, this water reservoir, attaches to Lake Reinhardt right over there. So it's a possibility that they kind of just go from through the, from the lake down to the little side pass. It's like nice and cozy there in the shrubs. What's your opinion, Squirrel? What's your favorite burger place? You just like nuts and berries, don't you? You're a little squirrel that loves berries and cream. You're a little squirrel that loves berries and cream. You want to do the outro, squirrel? You want to do the outro? You don't? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it then. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video of the vlog. What are you doing up there, squirrel? Looking for more little acorns? The vlog is over.